This video is for comedic purposes only and does not promote illegal drug use. I've smoked a good good before, and I've done the magic mushrooms, but I've always considered these things all natural, and comparable to the average Joe having a couple drinks with his buddies on a Friday night. Yet I cannot call myself a man of nature and discipline yeah, no more, buddy. because what I have done is irreversible. It is unforgivable. It is the substance straight from the pits of hell. This story kicks off at my favorite place in the whole world, the Netherlands, where everything from Zaza to vials of magic power are legal. Now, me and my brother were planning on going to a hardstyle festival, and to prep for the unholy party, we hopped into the local magic shop and asked the cashier, Yeah, hello, so we're tourists and we're going to a hardstyle festival tomorrow, is there anything you sell here that would mix well with that? <laughs> festival, eh? I got just a thing. Bam! Man pulls out two vials of EXPLODE and proceeds to explain that this stuff kicks, and it kicks hard. But since we have never heard of it, we just ask What the f*** is an explosion? Sounds like some male enhancement pill, bro. Nah, 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 hmm. Well, best way I can describe it is like molly, but like way more energy and a bit less wonder. This didn't tell me much, because I had never done but my brother had, so he was just like, we'll take him. Shouldn't we see all the options before? Trust me, there is nothing better. And I would soon discover that this legal store-bought product was not a crude knockoff of the original. It was an update. Anyway, the day of the festival comes, and we're feeling like some kids on the night before Christmas, talking about, bro, how you think we're gonna feel? I don't know, man, but it's gonna be awesome for sure. We at the tent area right outside the festival, and we do it. We take that shot of explosion, and we down it with a couple drinks as well. Just in case the cashier pulled a fast one on us, an explosion was just a caffeine shot or something. But the instant my tongue touched that vile liquid, I could tell that it was no caffeine shot. It was the real deal, the forbidden fruit. We start walking to the festival whilst anxiously waiting for it to kick, cause I literally had no idea how I was going to feel like from this unholy pre-workout. But at about the 20 minute mark, I started to notice that I feel no fatigue whatsoever, even though we've been waiting in line with a massive backpack for like 15 minutes. And it wasn't just that I wasn't tired, my legs felt good, and I was wide awake. So I asked my brother, how you feeling man? Bro. I feel like I could run a marathon, then play a full length NBA game as the number one option on the team, and to top it off, run a relay race. Alone. And I still wouldn't feel tired. This shit about to be crazy. Once we got to the festival, we were just amazed at the pure scale of this place. Five stages, a beach, fireworks, it was mind blowing. Yet for some reason, we just started talking to each other non-stop. And it felt like we were connected on a multiversal level. But we knew we couldn't just waste our time by talking, so we went to one of the stages. And I swear, the dance moves I was pulling were impeccable. They were reminiscent of Michael Jackson, just godly. After like 30 minutes of vibing and dancing, we went ahead and sat down on the grass to discuss our next move, but not even one minute went by when we were approached by these two teenagers, about the same age as we were. They sat down next to us and started engaging us in conversation like, where are you from, how old are you, etc. And we thought they were just trying to be friends or something, when suddenly, out of nowhere, Oh, okay, 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 so you're a tourist, cool, 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 um, wanna buy some we were flabbergasted. Had we just mistaken a door-to-door -door salesman for a potential festival friend? Yes. Yes, we had. I wanted to say no, but the words that came out of my mouth were, Uh, is it safe? Yeah, bro, I, I took one myself. Okay. So, we decided to get ourselves two pieces, because well, I thought if I already did the stronger stuff, why not try the original too, so I could say without a doubt, I had done it. To all my friends so they think I'm cool. We take half a piece each, cause we actually didn't even know if it was safe to mix the real stuff with the explosion, but you live and you learn. And thankfully, nothing bad happened, and to be honest, nothing amazing happened either. The m didn't really add any extra feeling, it just added more time to our high. Anyway, after like an hour from the second power-up, we sit down on a nearby bench to recuperate. And bro, I'm not exaggerating when I tell you this completely. I don't eat, I only do drugs. 
Fox looking guy stumbles to us all cocky offering us the powder. But not like, hey, you guys wanna do some magic powder? Nah, this guy had a pile on his freaking hand and he wanted us to sniff from his palms like some farm animals. And we weren't about to go that deep into this whole screw it, let's take everything we're offered vibe. So we politely declined and moved on with the festival. It had now been two hours since we took half the p yet it felt like 15 minutes. Time had flown so fast and we had no idea that the festival was ending in one hour. So we both took one half more and went to what we thought was the main stage to see the final show. And it was freaking amazing. The fireworks, the performers, everything. Yet again, one hour felt like a five minute YouTube video and in no time it was over. But not to worry, there was an after party planned which we excitedly went to. Only to find out it was a silent disco. You. Not only that, there was like a maximum of five people there. So we were like, nah, let's just go to the car and smoke a fat spliff. And you know that feeling when the party's over, but the party ain't over in you. But there's nowhere to go, so you just go home all depressed like, Man, I swear I could have gotten some hoes tonight. <laughs> if I only had more time. Well, that should have been what we felt. But it wasn't. I was happier than ever. I'm guessing the second had hit its peak just after the end of the show so I was completely drowned with its powers. And this is when I realized how crazy and dangerous of a substance this was. Cause with cushion mushrooms it's more of an experience so it's like if you ain't got nothing to do and you smoke a ton of Zaza you're still gonna be bored. But man, throw me in a coal mine with 12 hour shifts with nothing to eat but rice and ocean, and I'll still be like Man, don't you just love it here? The vibe is amazing. Everything is great. I love my work. Thankfully, we both escaped that night without any negative side effects, except for the fact our lips were completely destroyed. It was a combination of the substance plus the fact we were constantly rubbing our lips with our sleeves the entire night. But that's just something explosion makes you do, I guess. But not to worry, the trip wasn't over because we had a whole two nights in the Netherlands left and we went straight back to the magic shop the next day to acquire more natural ingredients. You can check that story out by watching the video on the screen. See you there. Subscribe.